Uh, Pete? Can, can, can you tell me the rest of your story? Pete? Pete, tell me a story. Okay. Since it looks like I've glitched out, we were born in Vault 34. It was a vault where we were not allowed to use uh, the explosions, but we had guns. We did not like this idea, so we left the vault. And upon leaving the vault, we found savages who tried to kill us. But they were unsuccessful because we had explosions and we blew them to hell. And then we broke into the Air Force Base and found that they had all kinds of explosive stuff here. And we really liked it so we used a lot of them. And we found out how to keep the outsiders from getting in by exploding them with our explosions. And then we found a plane. A flying machine that functioned really well and could drop bombs on our dead people like this, ah. But the plane is now broken and ah, explosions. And here's a crystal bomb. I hope you all enjoyed my rendition of that story. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try and find somebody else to do work for and hope that they can get us something to do for reputation purposes so I can zoom in. Uh, get talk with House? Yeah, Mr. House. Hey, Argyle. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, Outsider, but I have patients to tend to. I was looking for ways to help. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? I have extensive medical knowledge. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Alright, Home Slice, what do I do? Fix this person? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, what's my skill level at? Stats, skills, medicines, 48. Okay. Let's do items. Do I have a, uh... Oh, I don't have any books that make me better at doing that. Oh, that's kind of sex. Is there one in here? Um, it'd be nice if there was one in here. Because then I could read it. And then I could help. But if there isn't one in here, then I can just... Check this guy. 60. How about this one? 40. Yeah, I can treat that infection. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it, because you didn't think of it. Oh. Ha! That was enough. Let's go. Ah! Return to Pearl. Go talk to Pearl and let her know that we've helped her out. And ask if she can help us in the coming fight. Hello, Pearl. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I know. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Mm -hmm. Find Loyal oh. and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Okay. So we're going to talk to Loyal and ask him about raising up the, uh, ba 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 ba, the airplane that crashed into Lake Mead. Hey, don't go to you, son of a cracker! I, I got... hear you're going to help us. I hope you're up. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Mm-hmm. Sounds really creepy. Ain't nothing creepy about it. It's a term of respect. Uh huh. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. Mm -hmm. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. I know, I told but that anyway, story. Moving on. 
This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. Mm -hmm. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Mm -hmm. Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her mm. back to life. What do you say? Where's the It's located? at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. How do we raise it? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. There's a problem of not being able to breathe, dude. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Okay. Where's Jack? Boop. I think Jack's over here. Let me check my map just to make sure. Data. World map. Yeah, Jack's over there. And the B-29 is over there. The thing is, when you're going for this, do not go to the fort. Uh, the fort is where... Uh, Kaiser's Legion is, and if you're not happy with them, they will murder you when you pop up. So, careful. We'll have to take the walk from the nearest location. Which is fine. It's no big deal. It just takes a little more time. And there's some nice little mobbies to clear up on the way there, so we'll have some fun. Hey, Jack. Where you at, Jack? Jack, Jack, Jack. Hey, what's up? So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Loyal said you can help I me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Corn silk, rubber hose, and removable adhesive. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Yay. Bye. Bye. Okay. We have the rebreather, we have the ballast, and we have the uh, la, 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 directions to get here. So we'll go to Lake Las Vegas. And work our way over to the plane. Lake Las Vegas. And Lake Mead is down that direction. So, we'll go to items, apparel, rebreather, replaces our sunglasses, which is okay. And that's what it looks like. Okay. I am on journey. Do, 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 do. I won't be fast forwarding this part. It's just a bit of a hassle and there's no funny chipmunk sounds that I can produce with my POS movie maker. So we'll just do it the normal way. Run out here and... Uh, it's actually not that far away, and I'm sure I'm going to run into some stuff on the way there. I hope. I mean, we're already at Lake Mead. It's right here. But I do believe there are some mire lurks wandering around outside on the shore. And general nastiness that I'll need to take care of. That's where the fort is up there. Oh yeah, the, the the evil things are across the lake. Okay. So, we're here at Lake Mead. The nice pristine waters of Lake Mead. Oh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Um, I'm still walking, that's weird. I'd like to... There we go, oh, I'm swimming. Okay. And there's some exotic fishes and and aquatic underwater life and greenery and the docks over there and I think our airplane is showing up in the distance every so often with little blinkies There's 
some coral. And there's some more docks. And we'll go above water so I can look at other stuff. There's a fort. There's a crane. Ugh, I hate those things so bad. Those little bug things, those are terrible monsters. There's some guys over there. And I think that's the dam. Hoover Dam? Really? So close to the fort? Alright, so the airplane should be just beneath me here. There it is. We're going to float this friendly object up. Um, you'll notice that there are ballast marks on the wings here. So we'll deploy ballast number one. We'll swim up and over to the other wing. Deploy ballast number two. And I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, you're supposed to be a colossal douche. Why are you helping these guys? Well, if you want to win, you're going to have to be sociable. That doesn't mean you have to be friendly. And if they can get you a bomber to work on your side, all the better. So, we'll go ahead and get to shore. Kill off anything that breathes. Except myself. And then... Push the little button that gets the thing to come up. So, go to inventory, weapons. 